Hi, I'm Horodu and this is Horodu Drum Tips. Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, how do I do here? Um, today I wanted to talk to you about uh, something that a friend of mine actually asked me because he's been watching some of the videos and uh, he asked me about um, something I do whenever I am playing um, the cymbal and that is bouncing the stick on the cymbal and let it, let it, let it go and then use my fingers to create another bounce and keep going in a forward momentum and do actually like um, um, like it would be three uh, sixteen notes in a row right um, so there are I don't think there's a correct way to 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 do this or to learn this. Uh, the way I, I learned by, was by, by chance, actually. Uh, at the time, I was listening to a lot of um, uh, Padme Thini group. And uh, those tunes had a lot of symbols going on. You will hear that, a lot of symbols. I didn't know how to do that, so I, I tried to... to to do it with my with my hand on the symbol. It wasn't until I saw actually Pat Metheny group live once that Paul Werico and I saw him that he had two flat rides. So he was doing all the symbols with the two hands. And essentially at one point he will lower one hand and hit the snare and then keep going with the with the with the pattern of the of the two symbols that are doing basically sixteen notes shared between the two symbols. So uh, so I, I learned, or I forced myself to learn it with just one stroke, on 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 the on on the on one hand, on my right hand. So uh, one way to do this is to actually um, start using the actual natural bounce of the stick, and this is how I practice this. Okay, so I'm going to show you. So hope you like it. So the main thing here is to have the fulcrum of your stick loose enough that you can have the, the stick naturally bounce with the force that you're striking down. So if you, you notice that the stick first hits and then comes back at you. So if you want to play two strokes, what you have to do is grab it, just pull, uh, pull your stick as soon as it starts bouncing. So basically what you need to do is first try to learn how to get that bounce naturally. So if you want to have three bounces, you have to let it bounce three times and then pull. So the faster you go, the more you have to keep pushing. The way I did uh, when I was talking about the Padme Thini group thing is that you have to do it in a way that uh, I, I force myself to do it in a way that I press a lot on the on the fulcrum on top of the uh, the the, th the thumb on top of the index on the stick. It was later on that I reali realized that the bounce lies if you pivot your stick on the actual middle finger and that way 
you have your uh, bounce a little bit more open and freely and you only add a little bit more pressure in your grip uh, uh, the faster the song is but also at the same time the faster the song is the more you can relax because you rely on the on the forward momentum of the of the actual uh, hit so that's basically what um, how I do it so I don't know if this explanation uh, was uh, up to I mean it really helps you understand the thing um, I use it in a way in, in which I um, actually on when I'm playing like a lot of funk or, or like some fast tempos or, or like even a, a groove I actually tend to use it to break apart from the writing eight when I hit the snare I do that the, the, the triple strokes on my on my on my right or even the hi-hat uh, it, it looks something uh, like this so you might actually um, take a look Also, uh, I do it, of course, if I'm playing fast uh, jazz songs, uh, that's what I will do. Uh, but uh, I mainly use it for everything. I, it's kind of like a way for me to rest. It provides me a rest rather than hit, having a constant strike of, uh, of notes. That bounce kind of provide, gives me a sort, sort of a respire you know, I will rest a little bit my hand. Uh, so, I mean, I hope this explanation helps uh, helps you a little bit. And uh, if you like what you see, comment below and uh, um, yeah, subscribe to the channel. Uh, click the little bell to see if uh, to let you know when I upload something new. Uh, if you have any questions, please contact me. I'm I'm always available. Thank you. Bye bye. Have fun.